Across the world, a diverse group of mega projects are slated for completion in 2024. From tall towers to rail networks, airports to whole new cities, here are some of the most interesting projects, or parts thereof, due to wind up this year. You'd think the first three are massive, but wait till you get to the last one to find out exactly what the word mega means. This is going to be some year in the construction world. Are you ready? Let's get it on! 5. Seal Tower, Dubai, $810 million Seal Tower is an 82-story high-rise building under development in Dubai Marina, situated at the heart of the marina, near popular attractions like the Marina Walk and the Marina Mall Shopping and Entertainment Complex. With a total height of 365 meters, it will become the world's tallest hotel upon its completion, scheduled for mid-2024. The tower will house 1,042 luxury suites, with a rooftop that hosts a pool bar, a restaurant, and an observation deck. The structure is heavily inspired by the concept of vertical living, to maximize views of Palm Jumeirah, Blue Waters Island, Dubai Harbor, and the Arabian Gulf. The hotel was designed in a Japanese style by Yaya John of the architectural firm Noor. The firm is behind some of Dubai's best-known landmarks, including the Atlantis and Shangri-La hotels. Jean was tasked with designing the skyscraper on a triangular plot of land at Dubai Marina, which has an area of just 2,500 square meters, small for a building of that height. The architect says that the curved forms of the glass and metal building are meant to gently reflect in the setting sun while the design scheme emphasizes the verticality of the tower and is meant as a response to vertical living. The design won three prizes at the International Property Awards in December 2019 for Best International Hotel Architecture, Best Hotel Architecture Arabia, and Best High-Rise Architecture Arabia. In keeping with the modern trend to conserve the environment, the project is energy efficient, using 25% less power for air conditioning than is typical for similar buildings. The structure is 99% complete, and the electrical, plumbing, and mechanical work is 80% complete in the building's basement, podium floors, and story levels. It is scheduled for completion in the second quarter of 2024. 4. The One, Toronto, Canada, $2 billion Located in Toronto's Yorkshire neighborhood at the intersection of Yonge and Bloor, the 85-story tower at one of Toronto's busiest intersections was launched in 2015 with an original budget of $1.3 billion and a scheduled completion date of December 31, 2022. The one was envisioned as a multifaceted development encompassing 416 condominiums, a 175-room Hyatt Hotel operating under the boutique Andaz brand, an array of retail shops, and a diverse selection of restaurants. Topping it off, the flagship retail tenant was going to be an Apple store, but that dream hasn't been achieved yet. Almost, though. Almost is the word. In one of the earliest public signs that the project's prospects were soaring, Apple initiated a contract termination request with the one in 2020, citing construction delays. Apple's withdrawal left more than 15,000 square feet vacant, including over 9,000 square feet of ground floor retail space. Since then, the development has encountered numerous obstacles. According to court documents, these issues have had a significant impact on both the project's timeline and budget. As of the court's October 2023 decision to appoint a receiver, construction had progressed only to the 40th floor. Additionally, court documents revealed that total expenditures on the project had surpassed $2 billion. In October 2023, senior lenders to the project, including KEB Hanna Bank, requested the appointment of a receiver. According to court documents, the lenders alleged significant cost overruns, delays in the construction schedule, and a substantial amount of debt. The project was reported to be over budget by approximately $600 million and had accumulated around $1.7 billion in debt. It was also two years behind schedule. Senior lenders also alleged that an acrimonious relationship had developed between Coco and Mizrahi, along with the associated parties. Court documents say that these disputes and disagreements had a detrimental impact on the project's advancement and its relationships with stakeholders, including the senior secured lenders. 
As a result, the senior lenders say they lost confidence in Mizrahi as overseer of the project, leading to the request for a receiver to be appointed, which the court agreed to. At the time, Mizrahi's firm, Mizrahi Inc., was retained to continue construction of the project. But later, Alvarez and Marcel Canada Incorporated, A&M, a management consulting firm, assumed responsibility for managing the assets of the one and was expected to work with various stakeholders, including the senior secured lenders, to develop a strategy for the project. In February 2024, A&M issued a notice of disclaimer to Mizrahi, effectively removing the company from its role as the general contractor and developer of the one. According to A&M's latest motion record, dated February 26, 2023, a review uncovered several concerns, including outdated schedules and budgets, a lack of formal procurement processes, delays in formalizing subcontracts, limited use of construction management software, and an absence of formal tracking of progress, among other issues. In a report issued on the same day, the receiver declared that bringing in SkyGrid Construction Inc. as the new construction manager would be the most advantageous move for the project's future. Since the intervention of A&M, the construction of the tower has advanced. According to its report on the progress of the one, the structure has grown to 53 stories. Despite the concerns noted above, essential construction tasks, including mechanical, electrical, and plumbing work, are progressing smoothly as the building's exterior takes shape. This progress, however, does not necessarily mean business as usual for purchasers and stakeholders, especially since the project's senior secured lenders have indicated that selling the one remains a possibility. But as it is, the project is expected to be completed before the end of 2024. 3. Navi Mumbai International Airport, India, $3.1 billion Navi Mumbai International Airport is being constructed in Olwe, Navi Mumbai, Raigad district in Maharashtra in India. About 22 miles southeast of Mumbai's badly congested airport that opened 82 years back, workers in hard hats are high up on scaffolds building an alternative. Others are flattening a nearby hill to finish the first of two runways so that India's financial capital can finally have a second airport. In many ways, the Adani Group helmed $3.1 billion project in the satellite city of Navi Mumbai is a microcosm of the massive infrastructure overhaul underway in India as its Prime Minister Narendra Modi seeks to outrun China. For developer Gautam Adani, it's a test of whether he can put India on the global aviation map. The airport, with a lotus-shaped design mimicking India's national flower, as well as the election symbol for Modi's party, should start operations in November 2024, with a capacity for 20 million passengers a year. That will ramp up to 90 million by 2032 if there's enough demand, according to India's largest private sector airport operator that also runs the existing Mumbai airport. Considering the growing population and expanding economic influence in the Mumbai region, the new airport aims to alleviate pressure on the city's existing airport, which currently serves nearly 45 million passengers a year. Navi Mumbai International Airport, in addition to enhancing regional connectivity, will feature multiple transportation links. Among these, the Mumbai Trans Harbor Link, a 22-kilometer-long sea bridge currently under construction, will connect the airport to Mumbai's mainland. Anticipated benefits of Navi Mumbai International Airport include driving economic development in the area, generating fresh employment prospects, and attracting investments. It's noteworthy that the airport's significance extends beyond Mumbai's borders, impacting neighboring cities like Goa and Pune. The entire project is scheduled to be completed in 2032, with a capacity to handle 90 million passengers annually. Meanwhile, when it comes to freight, Navi Mumbai Airport will also have the ability to handle 2.5 million tons of cargo by 2032. This project will be a perfect game-changer for India as it seeks to join the big boys in the economic powerhouse table. 2. Nusantara City, Indonesia, $52 billion The upcoming Nusantara City is located on the east coast of Borneo, the world's third largest island. The city shares a land border with the province of East Kalimantan and has a coastal line that stretches eastward to the Makassar Strait and southward to the Balikpapan Bay. 
Since the summer of 2022, the jungles of eastern Borneo have undergone rapid change. Roads have been carved into the landscape, and buildings have been erected near Balikpapan Bay in eastern Kalimantan as Indonesia builds a new capital city. According to government officials, the development of the new capital on the island of Borneo was motivated in large part by the myriad of environmental challenges faced by Jakarta, Indonesia's current capital. The city's metropolitan area is home to 30 million people and has expanded considerably in recent decades. Frequent flooding, heavy traffic, hazardous air pollution, and drinking water shortages are common occurrences. Jakarta is also quickly sinking. Excessive groundwater withdrawals have contributed to subsidence rates of up to 15 centimeters, approximately six inches per year, and 40% of the city is now below sea level. In 2019, Indonesia's president announced that the country's administrative center would move from the populous island of Java to the sparsely populated island of Borneo. Construction on the new capital city called Nusantara, an old Javanese term meaning outer islands or archipelago, began in July 2022 in an area of forests and oil palm plantations 30 kilometers inland from the Makassar Strait. Project plans stipulate that it will be a green, walkable metropolis powered with renewable energy, with 75% of the city remaining forested. However, some researchers worry this land use could harm the forests and wildlife in the region. The stretch of land and coastal waters being developed are rich in biodiversity and home to mangroves, proboscis monkeys, and Irrawaddy dolphins. Although the site has changed substantially over the past year and a half, the city is not far from being finished. The first phase is scheduled to be inaugurated on August 17, 2024, coinciding with Indonesian Independence Day. The entire project is planned to be completed by 2045. 1. New Administrative Capital, Egypt, $58 billion in an expanse of desert 30 miles east of Cairo and 40 miles from the Great Suez Canal in Egypt, a new city is rising. Already boasting the tallest tower in Africa and the biggest cathedral in the Middle East, the city is one of a series of President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi's grand mega-projects intended to develop the country's economy. Construction of the new administrative capital began in 2016 and is being completed in phases. The grand opening is slated for 2024. According to Khaled Abbas, chairman of the Administrative Capital for Urban Development, ACUD, the company overseeing the project, phase one is almost complete and phase two began in the last quarter of 2023. Slowly but surely, life is beginning to trickle into the city. According to Abbas, more than 1,500 families have moved in and by the end of 2024, he expects this number to rise to 10,000. With government ministries relocating to the new city, around 48,000 government employees are already working there, many of whom commute from eastern Cairo via an electric train that started operating in 2022. In March 2024, as Parliament started directing its meetings from the city and several banks and businesses moved their headquarters there, more people are now expected to move in. Phase one of the project cost around 500 billion Egyptian pounds, approximately $10.6 billion. The project has previously been estimated to cost around $58 billion in total, with the government saying it will be funded by administrative capital for urban development and the proceeds of land sales. However, some reports suggest it is costing the state billions. Critics are concerned about the expense as the country goes through a period of economic downturn and deals with increased pressures from the war in Gaza. Egypt's economy is being boosted by international funding, including from the World Bank, which announced in March 2024 that it would provide Egypt with more than $6 billion over three years. Earlier that month, the International Monetary Fund said it would increase its current loan program for Egypt from $3 billion to $8 billion, contingent on economic reforms, including a new framework to slow down infrastructure spending to help reduce inflation and preserve debt sustainability. Administrative capital for urban development, which is 51% owned by the military and 49% by the housing ministry, told CNN that the development of the city would not be affected by the IMF announcement. In February 2024, 
the developing body announced that DAR, a global architecture and engineering firm involved in phase one of the city, had been awarded the contract to create a detailed master plan for phases two, three, and four of the capital. The developers say that the second phase is expected to cost around 300 billion Egyptian pounds, approximately $6.4 billion. The new administrative capital is centered around a financial district where some international banks and businesses will have their global headquarters. In 2023, Afrexim Bank announced it would be acquiring land in the city for an African trade center, housing its international headquarters, a conference center, a hotel, and an innovation hub, which it has described collectively as a one-stop shop business complex for intra-African trade. A consortium of unnamed companies from the United Arab Emirates and South Africa also announced that they would be forming a financial hub in the capital. The developers believe that the city's modern infrastructure will attract businesses. An artificial intelligence system will optimize the use of electricity, gas, and water, as well as waste management. Optical fiber infrastructure and the deployment of 5G will help connectivity, and there will be high-tech security services, with thousands of surveillance cameras installed across the city that will also track traffic and alert congestion and accidents. But as you would expect, such a massive project must have critics. Some argue that a key motivation behind the new city is to allow the government to keep its distance from large protests, like those that happened in 2011 around Cairo's Tahrir Square. They argue that urban planning of the new city would make mass marches virtually impossible. The most cited argument behind the government's decision to build a new capital is the need to accommodate Egypt's growing population and to relieve congestion and pollution in Cairo, which has one of the highest population densities in the world. 22 million people live in Greater Cairo, up to 50,000 per square mile. Developers revealed that the new city promises more green space. Landscaping has begun on a park dubbed the Green River that will cover an area twice the size of New York City's Central Park. However, there have been questions over how this will be irrigated, considering the arid landscape and the country's scarce water supplies. Overall, Egyptians are excited about their new city and the rest of the world should learn from them. And that's it from us today. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to click on the subscribe icon below. Also, give us a like and share the video, and remember to turn on the notification bell for timely updates of our latest uploads. Until next time, thank you for watching.